At this point, it's probably best to talk about the modern numbering system that's used in everyday life, the base 10 or decimal system. Decimal uh, is a word that has the root 10 in it, des, as in decade or decathlon, so on, all means 10. And that is the essence of our numbering system. We have the base 10 numbering system. And what it means is it's a positional system. It means that there's different places to put digits. And each one represents some number of tens. You have the tens place. You have the hundreds place. You have the ones place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place, and so on. Now these are all tens in a very bizarre way. Clearly this is ten, but a hundred is ten times ten, and a thousand is ten times ten times ten, and ten thousand is ten more than that, and a hundred thousand is ten more than that. So it's all just multiples of ten. Uh, in fact, the number one is also a number of tens multiplied together. This is a very bizarre way of doing it. I will get into this more in the future. But uh, if you are multiplying and dividing, the number which represents nothing is one, not zero. If you multiply something and you don't change it, it's because you multiplied it by one, not by zero. Um, and in fact, you also have decimal places, you have the tenths place, and the hundredths place, and the thousandths place. Basically what you say is, every time you skip one step to the left, you multiply by ten. Every time you go one step to the right, you divide by ten. And ten divided by ten is one, and one divided by ten is one-tenth, and so on. In any case, uh, this is a positional system. Where you put the digits of your number makes a very big deal. If you go to buy a car and you say, how much does this car cost? And the dealer says, well, I won't tell you the exact number, but it's got a five in it. Who cares? <laughs> does that five mean five dollars? Does that five mean five hundred dollars? Does that five mean fifty thousand dollars huge huge difference and you know they're not well they are jerks at car dealerships maybe they would pull something like that but if you have a number like nine five eight zero that means we have nine thousands nine times a thousand plus five times a hundred plus eight times ten plus zero times one also known as 9,000 plus 500 plus 80 plus 0, or 9,580. Now, that's a little bit stupid to say that 9,580 is 9,580, but the cool thing about this is that, first of all, we can get a lot of detail. We can use a lot of digits to, to represent very, you know, a wide variety of different numbers. It also means when it comes to adding this number or multiplying this number or something like that, because it's 9,580 and then zero, we can deal with each digit separately, which is very powerful and is sort of the essence to the, a lot of the algorithms we use for calculating, you know, carrying and dividing and long multiplication is all based on breaking the number up into little bits like that.